Okay, so I'm in a hotel room, by the way, so if you haven't noticed. Um, so, in my last video, I labeled it Chading Intelligence for Maturity. Um, so, one of the things I've learned about my adoptive father, and I don't care if he gets mad at me about this, I'm sure he's pissed on all many different levels, and it's something he apparently is not aware of, or maybe he is. Um, he likes to surround himself with people that are intelligent on his level. Um, people like that are his son, who allegedly got shielded from the abuse that went on in our household. My um, brother that I got adopted with got waterboarded by my birth my, by my adopted mother. Um, for years, she already knew he couldn't swallow pills. Um, my older brother, her blood son, the one she gave birth to, was upstairs with his door shut the entire time, ignoring the entire process. And I had to sit on the floor and watch my adopted mother shove pills down my brother's throat, knowing he couldn't swallow them, and shove water, like pull his head back, jaw open, and drown him in water. And he's sobbing, I'm sobbing, and my mother is screaming at him, swallow it, swallow it. This went on for maybe, it felt like forever, but with my memory, the best meant maybe two minutes or so of her constantly refilling the water and trying to make him swallow it over and over again maybe that's that's like maybe um what i've learned about my my adoptive father is he has a, a nephew named blake <laughs> excuse me um he's um one of those people that jack considers extremely intelligent um i have a cousin named deborah on their family side. I have a cousin named Michael in the same family, very intelligent. And um, I'm pretty sure they deemed the rest of the, the, the cousins on that side of that family intelligent on their level, on extreme levels. Um, any, uh, anybody else that they deemed intelligent, they brought on. Now, I can't guarantee this, but the way things have gone, they allow them to be a part of the um, underbelly of shit early on. So that's called grooming. And I need to clarify, they traded intelligence for maturity. You can be intelligent as fuck and immature as fuck at the exact same time. And you can overexpose somebody from intelligence and classify it as their intelligence as a form of maturity. It is not. Intelligence does not create maturity. Intelligence does not create maturity at all. It's how you react and how you act and how you move with your maturity levels of shit. That is where it comes into play. Oh, they're being little assholes because they're talking to me right now. Because they don't like me uh, bossing up on them, for better lack of words. Uh, so my father has always deemed himself this way. He did this with family friends, the butts. He did this with the Dolans. I'm, I'm literally, I'm not supposed to be name dropping right now. I'm supposed to be waiting to do this. Because if my plan works out, the, the nightmare plan. The nightmare, that, the nightmare plan that I do not want to do. But I'm running out of options because... They want to groom my child, and um, I'm hoping to God that the family that they haven't adopted into, as much as I know that they have their claws into them, their little suckers, that they won't do anything, allow him on any vocal or anything like that before he's 16 or around he's 16. We'll leave it to him to be an adult and make mature decisions. Mature decisions when dealing with narcissists or NPDers does not work for you. 
Uh, if they want to manipulate and trick you, they will find a way to manipulate and trick you. And unfortunately, with the technology that they're using, they can manipulate and trick you in many different ways. And I uh, guarantee your silence, which means you're groomed. The moment you start remaining silent, when you know everything, when you know, when you know everything, when when it repeatedly happens i mean it's one thing if you're experiencing trauma and you're you speak out and you keep getting silenced by it by other people that means they're trying to groom you if they groom you to the point where you side with them or are forcibly siding with them you are groomed um audio counts as grooming and uh Having to listen to your birth mother get sexually assaulted on a regular daily basis, I would say that would be a grooming, grooming for damn sure. But that, that's the nightmare I get to live with because they don't see themselves that way. They do the MPD thing where this is justice and you deserve this and this is how it should go because you deserve it and you earned it. I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong. Um, they make it very, 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 very hard to take responsibility for shit. And when I take responsibility for shit, they turn around and steal it from me so that I have to say it was all them. And at the same time, part of the gaslighting process is, was it me or was it them? Hence the reason why I said they're necrophiliacs, because they said I can't eat, breathe, shit, live, or do anything without them. Um, anyway, so that's how they operate. That's, that's one of the ways they really, 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 really operate. Uh, they like enlistment. Uh, if they can break an empath down to their level or trick and, uh, force them to stay silent, they love that shit. Narcissistic personality disorder fucking loves that shit. Anyway, so I wanted to clarify on the last video with the uh, title on why I said in trading intelligence for maturity. My adoptive family was grooming their family members to be a part of this, feeding their egos, uh, fanning the flames, all to benefit them and their ideas on shit. Um, it makes you want to feel bad for them, but I spent like a year yelling at these assholes about this shit and, uh, none of them have changed their minds. Uh, my cousin Stacy doesn't want to like admit that she has MPD, but I know she has MPD. Um, one of my biggest tells for the MPD comparative to her being called what they keep saying is a borderline is she maintained the same hairstyle she had since she was a little tyke, a little girl, a little baby. She has the bangs cut straight across. Her hair is almost asymmetrical, it's completely squared off at a basic length, almost. And she has held, because I got to be on her Facebook for a brief time, before they blew up. Oh, they're giving me heartburn right now. It's supposed to mean I have bipolar and I don't. Um, they, um, let me see a little bit of her life in between because her mom went and took them someplace else with the rest of the family in McKinney and she was never fully out of contact with our family. She just didn't want her daughter around me because apparently I'm a nasty evil bitch that would rape your babies and that would never happen in a million years. Um, if anything would be, it would be they would rape your babies. Um, this girl took on, killed a part of herself like MPD does. And this is, I don't want to say disassociated, just disregarded it. And took on this full identity of I am the victim. And thus, I am going to maintain the victim status and look the victim. That includes all the way up to her looks. 
that is not borderline personality disorder. That is narcissistic personality disorder because you are representing narcissistic personality disorder because you refuse to show off that you even make attempts to change yourself, even outwardly, because you're unhappy with yourself or unhappy with a look or you want to look different or you want to make a change or you just, just even if I do this, and do that, that makes a difference. You know, these are things that borderlines do, not narcissistic personality disorder. Now, narcissistic personality can dye their hair, get haircuts, shit like that. This bitch straight up took on the personification of, um, I'm supposed to call her, based on level shut, a vulnerable narcissist. I remind you, Dr. Fox has a video on this. Uh, according to Dr. Fox, only 27% of borderlines have NPD as a comorbid. I'm not seeing a comorbid here with uh, BPD. I'm seeing a comorbid more so tied to antisocial. We are our own government. We are our own authority. The power that we have gives us the right to call us our own government, our own authority, and do our own things. Anyway, so I wanted to clarify trading intelligence for maturity as your children are growing up. Do never assume just because a child knows a lot about it and knows a lot about something that they're mature. That is wrong and incorrect. It doesn't make them mature. It just means they know the information. It doesn't mean they're processing the information on a maturity level. Anyways, thank you. And I'm out.